Hello guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. And here we go, straight off the back of that massive win against Leon in the last episode. Now we've got Dundee United today and Dunfermline. As it stands, let's have a look at the league table again. We are still second in the league. Celtic have now caught us on game, so we've both played 24 games each and they are 14 points clear. Fair to say that we're not catching Celtic this season, so... You know, the league title was never on for us anyway. A second place finish should be massive though. Rangers have still got three games on us. Obviously, they're one point behind us still. Form for us as the top three isn't bad at all, in fairness. But we've drawn two of our last five, and so have Celtic. Rangers on the best form at the minute. But who knows what happens after today's episode as we play Dundee United, who are bottom of the league first. And Dundee United have got a familiar face at the helm. And Robbie Nielsen, the man in charge there. A man that we know a fair bit about. So their strip is awful. That Dundee United strip is absolutely horrific. You deserve everything you get being at the bottom of the league playing in a purple kit. But there we go then. So let's get into it. All right, so there's already been a game played then as Livingston beat Hibs 2-1. That is a big result. Hibs fallen down the table, 30 points on the board. We got 20 points clear of Hibs. What a time to be alive. As we played under United, like I say, bottom of the table, they've only got 13 points on the board. And then Rangers against St. Johnson, that's a big one as well, as one to keep the eye on, because if things don't go right for us as Dundee United, Rangers will pip us to second place. We've made a lot of changes amongst the team. Obviously, we've got a lot of games close together now. So we've really mixed it up. Because I'm going to stick with Gory and Goal. But I've got Kingsley, Halkett, Henry and Logan at the back. So only Logan sticking from the last game. Coventry still there in the holding role. But then we've got Walker, Power and Burn. Burn starting with Ginelli coming in in the second half. And then we've got Brown and Hernandez up front. Now, we're going to play Brown for the first half. See how we get on. And then we'll look at swapping up top as well. So there you go. Team selection. Bit of a mixed bag. Hopefully strong enough with the form that we're in to take three points at Dundee today. So the social roundup then, there's, there's going to be plenty of criticism here. As Tom Connor says, Kingsley starting is good, which is great. And then Hernandez starting is a terrible call. Ugh, we've got to mix it up a little bit, haven't we? And then Harry Evans says, Finley is going to be crucial here. Not sure we can get another win against them. Finley is not even playing. He's not even on the bench. You don't know what you're talking about. What do we tell the guys then? We've been a good run lately, so let's go out there and impress us. We'll tell them that. Not the most inspirational bit, but we'll give it a go. As we are at home, and I'm expecting another three points here. As we have a throw in, one minute 20 in, ball into the box, close gets it clear. Now Logan's going to get to it. As the rain comes down, Logan's going back to Henry. Now we have got a very mixed back four as Henry goes all the way back to Gory, But the goalkeeper's still the same. And he is a solid foundation, is Gory. Go on then. It's patient, I'll give him that. That's Henry, back to Gory again. And we work our way out nicely. Kingsley though, back to Halkett. It's a great ball to Hernandez. Good knockdown. And then we're out to Walker. Options though, we've not got a lot of them. As Brown picks it up and Walker goes again. Can he slide the ball through the middle? He doesn't, he has a crack from distance. And Long makes the save. It's a decent bit of possession there, I'll take that in the first five minutes. As we're now coming on to ten minutes, and the United have had a shot, but we've had 64% of the possession, and it had, we have plenty of possession. We do dominate with the ball, it's just that end product sometimes. As we're getting into 25 minutes, and not a lot has happened, and now they've got a highlight. They'll whip a ball into the box, which we make a mess of, and Ben Close scores first goal of the season. Not quite sure what happened there. As we had an opportunity to get it clear, and we head it backwards, I think, unless we miss out on that initial challenge, as Ferguson whips it in. Yeah, we should be tying it. Halkett makes a mess of it, and Close is there, and it's 1-0, right? So I'm going to berate the team right after that, and we're probably going a little bit more attacking for the rest of this half. As they have another free kick, floated in, we're nowhere near it, but Walker gets there, Ferguson picks it up, Fuchs! And we are 2-0 down against bottom of the league in 32 minutes. Gindo Fuchs. Zero. Fuchs. Honestly. What is occurring? Walker with a decent header in fairness to him. Ferguson, we just fall asleep. We are all marking each other in the middle. Gore is sat on his ass, And we are 2-0 down. Not the start that I wanted anyway. Are we going to have to do this hard way? If they've had three shots on target, scored two, 
Kingsley with the throw. Not into the keeper's hands, hopefully. As it's down. Burn. What's his options? Walker. Get in Jamie Walker. Right. 2-1, 39 minutes. Jamie Walker with his sixth goal of the season. He does well when we bring him on. Doesn't play enough. As the keeper there is basically gifted as a goal. Comes out, commits. Burn makes the right choice. And the, it's under the keeper. Can we get another one before half time? Doesn't look like it. As we've got two minutes of stoppages and it's going to go. We've got players that are shattered. Logan is absolutely knackered. Come on, lad. Show a bit of desire. Tactically then. You know, like I say, Logan is tired. Where are the changes? You know, I'm going to bring Mauer on. He's going to go in the middle. We're going to go to a 4-4-2. That'll do for now. Like I said, Burn. How's he getting on? 6.9. Power's having a shocker. Like I say, we've already made a change. We'll leave him on for now. Hernandez on a 6.5. Let's get Brophy on and let's start the second half. So can we have some early drama? As we're going to demand more from the team. A draw here would not be good enough. What's going on elsewhere? Reigns is a 1-0 up against St. Johnson. Right, we're going to change things up. We are going to change things up. I think if we look at getting Burn off, do he get Zerati on and go three up front? No, that's, that's crazy. I'm going to make all my changes. Let's go. 4-2-4. Confirm and go. As we are still attacking, you know, I'm going to berate the team again. As we're going into the last 10 minutes, we've got a corner ball. Power then. Ball in. It's away. Mowat's going to pick it up. Logan out wide to power. Just whip a ball in. There's plenty of us there. It's cleared away. That is poor. And Chalmers is on it. They go along. And we've got it again. Halkett then to Kingsley. To power. And then Mowat. Logan. It's tidy. But got to be an end product here as Henry picks it up. What's the options? Power comes into space. Kingsley, Brown, Janelli. They dive in. Janelli goes back. We're trying our best. We're probing. As Brown gets it. Walker. Logan. Through. What a serve from the keeper that is. On 80 minutes, he should be 2-2. Huge serve from Long. Right, we're going to go very attacking then for the last five minutes. The D United, what are they doing to us here? That's what you get for slagging off the strip. And we're going to lose this one. So Robbie Nielsen gets one over on us. We should have absolutely battered them. We had 58% possession and we've done nothing. Going to throw the water bottle. I'm just, we're not good enough today. That's the sort of match we should be winning. They can be as demotivated as they want. They're bottom of the league and we are banging form. And that's three points dropped as far as I'm concerned. And we go down in to third place. Now you've got to remember, this was where things started to go wrong last season. When we got to the end of February, which is where we are now. Hopefully this isn't a sign of things to come as we are 13 points clear of Hamilton. Hamilton in fourth place. Dear. And Craig Jameson then says, we were shocking today. Absolute disgrace of a result. Agree with that. And Colin Robinson says, needs to put some form together soon. We've got plenty of form. Plenty of decent form. So the headline is then, Nielsen gets one over Hearts. He 100% does. I've been mugged off there. Bocelli faces inquest after surprise and loss to Dundee United. Massive surprise. Rangers, 10-game unbeaten run, continues as they beat St. Johnson 1-0. And Cardinal finishes a Deckledax scouting. So, we've got them firmly next. Big game. Got to get a victory. We can't have back-to-back -back defeats. So, let's go. All right, so another big game. And the Rangers have already played one of their additional games, which means they're now five points clear after beating Hamilton 3-2. So, they're five points clear of us already, and we've got to get a victory today. So, Dundee United play St. Mirren. Dundee United, though, still five points behind at the bottom. Dunfermline against Hart, Motherwell against Kilmarnock, and St. Johnson against Livingston. So, team selection-wise, then, we're going to try and play a stronger team today, as that backfired a little bit on us, as we've got Gorey and Gold, Divine, Finley, Sutar, and Clark, Coventry in the Holden roll with Ginelli, Irvin, and Byrne, and then Brown and Zarate up front. So what we're telling the guys today then, we should be winning this one fairly comfortably. Let's give the fans a performance they're expecting of us here. That's what I'm telling the guys. And let's go. As we are away from home. Irving now with the ball in. It's cleared away. And call it's two against two at the back. I've got a player three out wide. Longstaff picks it up. We've got to be careful as we dive in. Longstaff, a big save from Gorey. Doesn't know much about it by the look of it. He goes down after the chef saved the shot. But Goss then, with the corner ball, it's in. It's headed clear by Sutar. It's a great header as well. 
So they have the first real big opportunity. We don't want to be going, like I say, back-to-back defeats would be catastrophic. As Clark with the throw then, it's a big throw into the box. Zarate into an empty goal as the keeper commits. Oh dear, what a goal that is. It's a great throw in, as per, you know, we are good with that long throw into the box. And Zarate with his ninth goal of the season, absolutely massive. Clark then, throw into the box again. Brown this time, oh he's got two throws into the box, they can't handle it, and we are 2-0 up in the first 12 minutes. Charlie Brown with his 32nd goal of the season, another good throw from Clark, you know, and he delayed bounds, that's the problem. So we're three points behind Rangers now, and that's good for us, plus 48 on the goal difference. We've had two shots on target, scored two goals, what's going on elsewhere, Livingston are 1-0 up as well, as there's another highlight... Ball over the top. Sutar tidies that up and Burns going to pick it up then. Right. Can he whip one into the box? He's going down to the byline. He does. It's off the post. Keeper. Slow to react there. Could have trickled in. And Livingston, like I say, 1-0 up against St. Johnson. Dundee United. 0-0 with St. Mirren. St. Mirren have actually scored a hardy penalty on 31 minutes. And as it stands, it's looking all right in the league. Yeah, we've, we've dropped that second place, but still... A win here would be huge. You've played well so far, but there is room for improvement. I'm not going to make any change at half-time. We're just going to go straight out and carry on. Because we haven't exactly set the world like We've only had 46% possession. We've had two shots on target and scored both of them. Irving then to Brown. Headed away. Coventry's going to pick it up. Right, go on. Coventry. Ball across to Ginelli. Finley. We are just stood still. Like We've got strikers static here. Ball across to Burn. Go on. Burn. Zarate. We've got players free now. Irving and he misses an absolute sitter. It's at the keeper. He tips it over the bar. And we go, you know, we should have been 3 nil up then. Burn then with the ball in. Sutar to Ginelli. I think we get in the way. And it's gone. And Field will get it clear. We head it back in. Surely that's the end of the highlight. And it is. Let's make a change then. Coventry not having a great game. Let's get Mauer on there. Should we get Brophy on? We'll get Brophy on for Brown. That'll do. And swap those two guys around. Confirm the changes. We've got two changes then. With 20 minutes to go. Kilmarnock 1-0 up against Motherwell. Livingston up into fifth. That top five there. Well, what is occurring? As Hibbs in seventh, like I say, we've got five minutes left. I'm just going to make another change. Just for the sake of making a change, I think. As Halkett will come on for Sutar. And that'll do. With the last change at the back with two minutes to go. And now we're into stoppages and that is it. Full time, 2-0. Gifted. Two long throws have sorted us out there. But we get three points nonetheless. And it's a good win, boys. Well done. So 53 points on the board. And results elsewhere. Then St. Mirren win 1-0 against Dundee United. We win 2-0 against Unfermelin. Motherwell 2-1 against Kilmarnock. And Livingston 2-0 up against St. Johnson. How have the fans reacted? Lloyd Fraser said a fantastic result, defended well, attacked well, just a brilliant all-round performance. And Chloe Gray says, my player of the match was Clark for sure, what a victory. So there we go then, the headline is, Megal has birthday to forget, so Dunfermline manager Thomas Megal loses 2-0. Sutar, fitness concern, standard, and Clark on form, with two assists, two long throws. We'll say you're passing, it won't you passing, but you know what I mean. So there we go then. As it stands, third in the league, not great. Rangers have obviously got those games in hand. So where do you join me next? As we're obviously now coming to the end of the regular season before we split off into that top half group. But we've got Leipzig Leipzig and Rangers. Let's do that one. There's Dunfermline in the, the Scottish Cup quarterfinal. We'll play that one off screen. And then we'll do Leipzig and Rangers. Like I said, we've played Leipzig earlier in the season and we lost both of them, didn't we? We lost there 3-0. And then we played them earlier on and lost 2-1. So... Leipzig next then, so that's where you'll join us. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Ta-ra.